welcome to this uh, presentation uh, titled um, introduction to sql server integration services 2008 so what we would be covering up in this uh, introduction session is we'll be just um, going through an overview of ssis 2008 what are the different tools and what are the terms involved in it and uh, so on and so forth so first of all ssis is an etl tool so when we talk about etl that stands for extract transform and load we are basically covering three main concepts the one is the source it can be a database it can be a file etc from which we need to extract some sort of data now once we have extracted this data we need to transform it or manipulate it in order to load it to some other source so this might so happen that you have uh, multiple data sources and um, each data source has its own way of storing data for example um, say male and female male is represented by zero or female is represented by one in another database it may be m and f so this is where the transformation stage comes into play so you transform to a common pattern and the third that is l load you start loading it into a separate data source so we would be uh, looking at it in the further demos how to extract data how to transform data what are the tools which help us to do so and so on and so forth the source and the destination could be anything right can be a oracle database or sql server database or an excel file etc uh, all you need to do is establish a connection from it and start extracting the data data <clears throat> one important point to note over here is um, ssis is not an upgrade to dts dts stands for data transformation services which was prevalent um, in sql server 2000 ssis is actually a replacement to dts ssis is uh, one of the tools that is provided by microsoft in the business intelligence uh, suite or tool set ssis is installed as a single service or you can call it as this has been shared across all the instances for example if you navigate to services.mse you can find different instances installed on this server similarly for analysis services you have ms sql server and one more instance that is sql 2008 but for integration services you have only a single service that is installed hence we say is installed as a single service all your ssis service management is done by a separate tool called as sql server configuration manager so let us just look at it it is available over here configuration tool and configuration manager so if you look at sql server services here you could find your sql server integration services the next thing to note here is integration services includes graphical tools so using these graphical tools you can perform a number of other tasks some of them include building and debugging packages so uh, whenever you do an etl process you configure your wizard in order to uh, extract some sort of data and then transform it and then finally load it this whole process is encapsulated into something called as a package so in our demos we would be further digging into this so these are plain xml files that are stored whatever configurations you make are actually stored in the form of an xml file so we have some graphical tools which help us build the build these xml files which are also termed as packages 
Also, you can perform some workflow related functions like FTP operations. You can execute ex SQL statements. You can send email messages. And of course, you can configure your data sources and destinations in which you can start extracting and loading data. You can also perform other related tasks like cleaning, aggregating, merging or copying data. Another important tool is the SQL Server Management Studio. So this migrates your DTS packages into SQL Server 2008. I think I have missed the 8 over there. So this is a tool in which pretty much you guys are aware of. Let us just fire up SQL Management Studio. So this is my database engine and I could also connect to my integration services. Now note here in the server name I do not have my instance name. So this is my integration services. So let me just correct this. You could also run packages or schedule packages via timer jobs etc and kick off packages in order to perform your ETL tasks. You can assign some package level securities. We would be covering this in our demos. And of course you can view packages through SS, SS, SSMS. The other important tool over here is called as BIDS or SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio. Um, if you look at it, 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 it is pretty much same as uh, Visual Studio. Let us just uh, fire up Bibs so that you can have a look at it. So this is your typical interface of uh, Bibs, in which you start creating projects etc. We will be using Bibs in some of our projects and demos. The next important aspect is to access SSIS via SQL Server Management Studio. So uh, in our previous slide when we had this small demo, we saw that um, in the instance name we had the single instance. right? So SSMS uh, connects to your default instance of SQL Server. So if you want to dig into this further, you could just navigate to 100 DTS bin and in this you will find this XML so here you could find your server name you could actually change this if you want to um, rectify or change the instance name that you wish to connect to so let us leave this as it is for now. So in our forthcoming videos, we'll be having demos right from to, to cover the basics uh, right up to the advanced levels. We'll start off with something like transforming some amount of data from a database and uh, pushing it into a Excel file or Excel workbook. We'll try the other way around of push, pulling some data from an Excel worksheet and then pushing it to a database to get our basics right. After that, let's we'll be going through uh, some advanced topics in which we'll look at what all features are provided, what are the different graphical tools that are provided by um, BIDS as well as uh, in SSIS 2008. So see you over there.